I'm recording this. So we basically, we want it to be this same thickness, I assume, as this thing. So first thing I'm going to do is take this face. I'm going to extrude it in. Actually, I don't know. That's kind of... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to ignore this one for now. I'm going to hide it. So if I go into object mode and I hit H, this thing will disappear, cube 9. Let's go back to this. Take this face. And I'm going to extrude it up. Now if I, uh, let me just set the snaps here to something that would make sense, like... Uh, Five. Let's see what that does. Let's try one. If I set this to component, the move options. And spin it. Control E. You don't have to watch if you don't want to. But I'm doing it for you. <laughs> Jumpy stop. That's not. <laughs> now, some of these edges were not quite turned correctly, so I can double click on them to select the entire edge loop. And. Okay. And just by using the snaps, I was trying to keep it as consistent as possible. Um, now, Ward, at this point, just for the sake of symmetry, I'm going to delete that side completely. I'm going to take this, I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to reflect it 180 degrees. And in order to do that, I think I have to do a uh, transformation scale. And I'm going to set the scale to, oops, that's not the right thing. Let's try that again. Mesh transformation. No, well, let's see here. Well, I can't figure out how to do it, so I'm just going to do this, scale it, so it's, it goes the opposite way, and then push that over here. And then as far as connecting these guys, you could probably just take another square. Turn off the snaps for a second. Oh, actually, we already had that. I just turned it off. Is that kind of what you're looking for? Okay, I will, uh, and then just combine all the objects. Cool.